Welcome back to Animation Discovery. I'm Lacey from Green Mouse Academy. Today I will be teaching you how to make objects appear to speed up or slow down as the objects move across the screen. This is made possible by either increasing or decreasing the spacing as you take pictures. The transition from fast to slow or slow to fast is everywhere in animation. Cars, superheroes, fish, parachutes, and rockets are all examples of things that go fast then slow or slow then fast. These techniques may seem very basic, but both are necessary skills for becoming an official animator. Here's a clip from our friends at Animation Chefs that will give you a better idea of how this works. Watch the speeding up and slowing down in this Lego movie. The car slows down and the plane speeds up. Here it is again, slowing down and speeding up. In this shark versus rabbit episode, we use the slowing down pattern for the boat. And check out the slowing down and speeding up pattern as this leaf falls. Today we are going to complete two animation recipes using your dot bot from the last session. Here is my dot bot from our last activity that I saved in my Ziploc bag. Next, practitioners, please pass out the speed up and slow down recipe card to each student, which looks like this. Students, go ahead and set up your animation station, just like I have my iPad set up right here. Practitioners, remember to pause this video if your students need extra time setting up. When you're ready, press play to continue. Let's start by looking at our speed up, slow down recipe. To begin, let's place DAPA on the first circle. Then we need to take 15 pictures before moving to the next circle. Go ahead and place your dot bot on the first circle right there and take 15 pictures. Remember to tap gently and make sure no other objects are in the frame so you can get a clear picture. There we go, I have my 15. Now you're gonna continue taking one picture in each circle until your dot bot is completely out of the screen. So go ahead and move him to the next one, right there. And as you can see, these are very close to each other. They're laying right on top of each other. So take your time. Then eventually they'll start spreading out. There we go. Remember just one picture each. Perfect. Almost to the halfway point. All right, two more to go. Number 13 and 14. Now you're gonna place your dot bot in the half circle below and take a picture in each one until you reach the last circle. Let's go ahead and put them right there in that half circle and take one picture. Keep on moving down, take another picture, and another. So it's kind of the same as above, just in an opposite pattern. There we go. Now you can see they start to overlap each other. Almost there though. Okay, now once you get to this last circle right here, you're gonna take 15 pictures again. So go ahead and get your 15. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. Awesome job, animators. Go ahead and push play and watch your DotBot speed up and then slow down. There's mine. Pretty cool, right? Practitioners, go ahead and pass out the bouncing ball recipe card. Go ahead and press pause until all recipe cards are passed out. For this next activity, we are going to learn how to animate a ball that bounces. Notice that this is just bending the speeding up and slowing down recipe along a curve. This is used when animating a frog, a ball, a football, and many other things that change direction after colliding with something. Here's a clip of how the bouncing effect works. This recipe used for a frog hop. Here's a pumpkin following the same pattern. It's, we did this for Halloween. Here's our clay guy doing it in one of our later lessons. So let's get started on our last recipe card. The first thing you're going to do is take 15 pictures of your DAPA on the first circle like before. So go ahead and put your DAPA on that first circle right here. And take 15 pictures. Okay, I've got my 15. Now you're gonna take one picture per circle. So go ahead and start moving your dot pot down. And just take one per circle. There we go, we're almost halfway. As you can see, this is the speeding up side of the recipe. We're gonna make our way all the way down to number 11. Okay, we made it to the bottom. Now we're gonna start working our way up. So go ahead and continue taking one picture per circle. Almost there, Mr. Dotbot. Home stretch. Okay. Now when you get to the 20, right there, that last circle, you're gonna take another 15 pictures. So go ahead and capture those 15. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a look. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. All right, now let's take a look. Well, fellow animators, awesome job learning two recipe card skills today. Before I have you create your own animation, watch a movie I created using the recipe cards, spacing a speed, and bouncing ball. Here is my story. Dotbot goes to the park. Yes. Do you see how my Dotbot witnessed an airplane making an emergency landing at the park? It was so scary. The plane came in so fast. My DotBot was having fun bouncing a ball and then had to get out of the way quickly to avoid the plane crashing. Yikes. Okay, so now that I've given you some inspiration, go ahead and create your own story. Ask your practitioner for a background sheet for activity two. It's the same park background I used for my animation. Just a quick reminder before I go though, you will be using this DotBot for the next class, so do not throw it away. Before you leave class, ask your practitioner for your Ziploc bag with your name on it. Well, that's all for today. You're getting so much closer to producing your very own mini movie using stop motion animation. The possibilities are endless. See you next time. Bye.